Welcome back everybody. Today's visit to our shop is featuring many things but featuring our clocks. We'll do a quick little walk through so you can see how the shop's turning out. With many clocks ticking and talking as well as the things we make. We spend a lot of time on these clocks just bringing them back to life. They're from the 1800s forward. So like this Gilbert, 1870s. Spent a lot of time working on just the aesthetics of that clock. It wants to tick just fine. A couple of little Seth Thomas. Let's go over here and see the clocks we worked on recently. We have three premium mantle clocks all with their brass all ticking and chiming we have a Plymouth tambour on the bottom 1920s this is an eight day it has a double chime single strike to the double chime this is a Gilbert 1920s model beautiful tambour and it has a double strike which is independent ding dong ding dong this is what I really wanted to show you guys this is a 1910 Seth Thomas cathedral style mantle clock every now and then I like to approach one of these clocks and make it a skeleton clock that way you can see the gears are working. Now, of course, when this one strikes, you get to see the strike mechanism move. And you can look in there and see that bob ticking. Refinish this copper bezel, and it really makes this clock. Very little wear and tear on this 110, 111 year old, excuse me, clock. And it is the 89 Seth Thomas movement. I do have its original bezel. Uh, it needs to be re-soldered, but I do have its original face and dial. So it will come with this clock if anyone wants this beautiful piece. Now, of course, we have, have spent quite a bit of time polishing and cleaning this clock and it sounds beautiful when it strikes this is something new that uh, also that we've worked on this is a 1930s maybe a 1940s early 1940s they suspended work on these baby bins and big bins uh, there in LaSalle during the World War II but this is a beautiful example of a baby bin alarm clock. It's just been completely reworked. Now these uh, hands have a ura uh, uranium uh, or iridium, excuse me, a type of radioactive paint that makes them glow at night. Wonderful. Well, it's a little bit of refinishing uh, I've done on this one to bring it back, but it it's a great little chimer and it will wake you up in the morning it has great weight to it a little rose colored vanity new haven about 1910 era so these clocks range in the 80 to 100 year old category with their original brass ticking and chiming if you're interested in any of these, please private message us. We'll discuss uh, these clocks with you. While we're in here, uh, let's go ahead and do a little pan over in our gallery. And let's look at this tambour. Now this is a early 1900s Normandy chime uh, tambour case that has been completely refinished. We've featured it before. And our friend actually 
handmade this dial by burning the Futharkian runes into it and also the Norse compass in the center and in the very center is an old brass uh, piece from one of the kitchen clocks that would have been used as a alarm feature. This is a one-of-a-kind with a battery movement um, so that all you have to do is put a battery on it and let it go. We have a couple of these beauties we've refinished the shells of. Let's go check out this one over here. In our aquatic section we have Davy Jones Mantle Clock. A burled maple veneer with a hardwood inlay from about a hundred years ago, the shell. Had no brass in it, so Roxy made this beautiful epoxy dial. Looks like the bottom of the ocean. So I've tailored the second hand to be a little like compass arrow. And we call this Davy Jones Mantle Clock. This is a one of a kind you cannot find anywhere else in the world. And listen, we love our clocks. And we love our shop, all the different art that's in it. We put our heart in it. If there's anything jumping out at you, let us know. And we'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you so very much for keeping up with us. Let's uh, look one more time at that Seth Thomas. 111-year-old beauty. Have a great day, guys.